Before we get started, I got some sticker shout outs. The first one is for Joel over at the Missing Digit Workshop. We actually met in Atlanta when I went there for FabTech a few months back. Uh, but when I bought the Maker shirt, he actually sent me a sticker. He also sent me a sticker for the Maybe I've Said Too Much podcast. And if you're a podcast fan, I recommend that one. Next is from Bob Lee over at Bob Lee's Woodshop. And uh, Bob's a pretty great guy. We uh, hang out on Google sometimes. When I first started my YouTube channel, one of the first big names to subscribe to me was Steve Carmichael, and he sent me a sticker. And last but not least is Ophelian. And I'll leave links to all their social media presences down in the doobly-doo below. And if you want a sticker, my address is down there too. Send me one, I'll send you one right back. If you want a sticker for free, just send a self-addressed stamped envelope. And while they last, all sticker deliveries come with a very special bonus for a limited time only. Now my friend Richard over at 42 Fab Sign and Fabrication Shop has got these really cool welding practice kits. So what we're building today is a rocket stove. Now Richard has a rocket stove kit. Mine is completely different. I'm not ripping his idea off. He knows all about this. I'll leave a link to his so you can go have a look. But the idea is an easy to make rocket stove and mine is made from really common stuff. I'll, I'll leave a complete cut list below so if you want to build one yourself you can. Let's just walk you through the whole thing right now. Now the way this starts is by tacking two sides together and this is where the very first mistake can happen. If you look closely, see that is a butt joint? We do not want a butt joint. We want a bevel joint. Now can you see the difference there? We have a nice v-groove down there that we can weld in. Okay, we got the three sides. Now we're going to the front. Now the front is made of four pieces plus the feed chute, which is another four pieces. Now our chute is only four inches wide, so I've used a couple of pieces of one inch flat bar to narrow the opening. Now we'll just install the chute. I kind of warmed up my glove there a little bit. Okay, this is the basic rocket stove. This is looking pretty good. There's two things we have to do still, and that is make legs and make our top grate that we can set a big pot on and uh, boil water or whatever we're going to do. Now what I'm doing here is I'm cutting angles on the ends of the legs so they'll uh, tie in with the shape of the box a little bit better. Three of them will be a trapezoid shape and you'll see why in a minute. And then one of them, uh, the shorter one, will be a parallelogram. Now if you look here, uh, what I'm doing is I'm cutting the grate for the top and the way we're gonna do this is we'll cut a slot in the middle. In fact, I have both pieces stacked so I cut the same slot into each piece. And then we will uh, interlock them and uh, hook them together. After that, we'll cut notches in the edges Now here I've uh, 
cut some angles on the bottom of the grate and I'm setting it on the top of the stove. We'll just mark some places uh, where the grate can slide down onto the stove. Then we'll uh, come in with an angle grinder and notch those out. Okay, so here we have our top grate. It's got these notches cut out. Notches cut out so the two pieces will interlock. And it just sits there right on top. We're not going to weld that on because we want to be able to remove it to clean the thing out. Who knows, it might get something big down in there that won't, won't come out through the uh, slots. Uh, the next step is to weld the legs on. And one thing I wanted to point out, you've got this one short one. That goes here in the front. And all these long ones go here on the, on the other sides. But you see the long ones, now, now look at what we got going on. The long ones go from a vertical side to the ground. The short one, the short one goes from the bottom of the chute, which is horizontal, to the ground. So these two edges are parallel to one another. These two edges are perpendicular. So if you followed my directions, these legs will lift the stove three inches off the ground, which should be plenty, even if it gets really hot and you want to put it on a uh, flammable surface. Okay, so here's our rocket stove. It's nice and sturdy. It's a pretty neat looking. I think it's a decent design. Complete cut list is in the description below and all that remains is to weld it up. And that's what this project is, is a welding practice project. By the time you finish this project, you've done about 12 feet of welding, and that's a pretty good amount of practice. You can do this with any welder, TIG, MIG, flux core, stick, whatever you got. You can do this project, and it's good practice. You might want to jump around to keep the heat distributed fairly well. You see what will happen is if you, if you put a bunch of heat all in one place it might warp it. So you want to avoid that. Remember what I was saying about jumping around because it might get too hot. Well, it got too hot and had a big old drip run right down there because I, I was in a hurry, didn't want to get off it, and it just got too hot right there and it screwed it up. But it's still stuck together. And there it is, our rendition of a rocket stove. Now, I would burn something for you, but today is a known burn day, and I don't want the $200 ticket. But I know from seeing these, this will work just fine. But the main objective of this project was to give you guys something that you could build, and let's talk about the costs. I've got about $15 worth of steel in this, but I buy my steel at the local steel supply. That's the best place to get it, Go in there, talk to them, just tell them what you need, they will give you prices. I know it's intimidating to walk into a massive steel supply store and not know what to do, but just take that first step. Most of these guys are really great folks, they will walk you through what you need to do. If you want it cut, they'll even cut the pieces for you. Of course they'll charge you extra. If you go to the big box store with the orange sign to buy your steel, this is more than $50 worth. So let's not forget, the objective of this project was welding practice. So if you want a project to practice welding, here it is. I've given you a full cut list of materials down in the description below. And I want to give another shout out to Richard over there at 42Fab, 
who gave me the inspiration to come up with a project just to practice welding because he has several of them on his website. Link will be in the description below. Go check him out. Build this one if you want, buy your own materials, or he's got one over there for I think 48 bucks that he'll ship to you free, and it's got the entire kit. It's a slightly different design, but it's a different kind of rocket stove. He's got a couple of fire pits over there. Great stuff, go check him out. So that's all for this time. Thanks for stopping in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something in mind that YouTube thinks you'll like, and have a good one.